Iranian group offers 100,000 to blow up the new U.S. embassy in Jerusalem. Wow, okay. A hardline Iranian organization is reportedly offering a 100,000 reward to any person who bombs the newly opened U.S. embassy in Jerusalem, according to translation of Farsi language reports. A group known as the Iranian Justice Seeker Student Movement is reported to have disseminated posters calling for an attack on the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem, which has been opposed by the Palestinian and Iranian. The Student Justice Movement will support anyone who destroys the illegal American Embassy in Jerusalem, the poster states in Farsi, Arabic and in English according to the independent translation of the propaganda poster provided to the Free Beacon. There will be a $100,000 prize money for the person who destroys the illegal American embassy in Jerusalem, the poster says. The call for an attack on the new AUS embassy is just the latest escalation by hostile Islamic states and the leaders who have lashed out over the United States and President Donald Trump for making good on a campaign promise to relocate the embassy from Tel Aviv to Israel's declared capital of city of Jerusalem. News of the bombing threat was first reported by the University Student News, Work, News Network, a region Farsi language site that ag aggregates relevant news briefs. The student movement for justice declared, whoever bombs the embassy's building will receive a $100,000 reward, the report states. It's necessary to mention that the steps by Trump to transfer the U.S. Embassy to Holy Cods, Jerusalem, has led to the anger and hatred of Muslims and liberators throughout the world. Michael Rubin, a former Pentagon advisor and expert on rogue regimes, told the Washington Free Beacon that terrorism of this nature is embedded in the Iranian regime's hardline stance. We'll get to the end of this, guys. We'll just read it out first and then get to it at the end. Unfortunately, terrorism directed towards diplomats and embassies have become a central pillar of the Islamic Republic's culture, Rubin said. Terrorism is lionized in Iran's schools. This bounty is more than rule than an exception. To blame Washington or Jerusalem is to blame the victim and give terrorists a veto over the U.S. policy. Benjamin Batten-Tabu, I'm not pronouncing, a researcher fellow at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies, described the poster as repulsive and blamed the Iranian ruling regime for fostering such attitudes. Yeah, I think I know where I'm going to go with this one. This is nothing short of an invitation uh, to a horrendous act of international terror by a student group that looks to the world's foremost state sponsor of terrorism, the Islamic Republic of Iran, he said. Which is funny because right now Jerusalem or the Israels are opening firing on civilians. Okay, um, I think this could be a false flag. Okay, I'm not sold that this isn't a false flag. We have seen a lot of things lately come out stating that the, the US is trying to do a regime overthrow. Um, I would not be surprised if this was an attempt by Israel or someone like that to brand Iran with a negative brush. And hell, if the embassy was to blow up, then that would be perfect. Um, yeah, I, I don't think... Look, is this possible an Iran thing? Sure, yes. But it's also possible a false flag or an attempt at a false flag. So, yeah, um, I'm going to be watching an eye on this very carefully. But at the end of the day, I would not be surprised. Um, but guys, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think that this is an Iranian thing? Do you think that this is a, a, a false flag? Who do you think is responsible? Do you think anybody is going to take up this offer? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new, channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.